Can you imagine living without some of your body parts? It's disturbing, but some people have survived without their lungs, heart, and brain. Let's look at some incredible stories of people who have proven that they can survive in any situation, even without some of their body parts. And with that, let's do this. Paul Alexander In 1952, Paul Alexander got polio and was almost completely paralyzed from the neck down. He's been relying on his iron lung to help him breathe for almost 70 years, making him one of the last people to use the machine. However, Alexander has never given up on life. Despite his physical limitations, he excelled in school and even earned a law degree from the University of Texas. Crazy, right? He even wrote a book about his experiences, which he wrote with a pen and a stick in his mouth. Dallas Weems Dallas Weems from Fort Worth, Texas suffered a life-changing injury while painting a church in 2008. He touched a live, high-voltage power line, which left him badly scarred with severe burns. After a two-month hospital stay, he received the first full-face transplant in the U.S. Although he lost his left eye and teeth, Dallas can smell and feel his daughter's kisses. According to Dr. Jeffrey Janis from Boston's Brigham and Women's Hospital, he's even starting to smile again. Despite his challenges, Dallas remains optimistic and grateful every day. Jackson Buell Jackson Buell was a little boy from Florida who has captured the hearts of people worldwide. He was born with a rare condition called microhydranencephaly, which means he has a missing part of his skull and brain. Doctors didn't think he would survive more than a few days, but Jackson defied the odds and lived to be five years old. Despite his condition, Jackson lived a happy life as a little boy who loved playing with his toys and spending time with his family. Sadly, he passed away in 2020 when he was only five years old. Cassidy Hooper Say hello to Cassidy Hooper, a girl born without eyes or a nose. Crazy, right? But that didn't stop her from doing cool stuff. At 11, she ran track, worked at concerts, and even took a bus alone every week to go to school. Now she's a college student with an Associates of Arts degree, and she can't believe how fast time's gone. But you know what Cassidy says? I don't need easy, I just need possible. And that's how she's been living her life, one fantastic accomplishment after another. The Heartless Man Next, meet Craig Lewis, a man from Texas who suffered from amyloidosis, a rare disease that causes protein buildup on essential organs like the heart, liver, and kidneys. After being told he only had 12 hours to live, Craig agreed to be a guinea pig for a new device created by Dr. Billy Kahn and Dr. Buzz Frazier of the Texas Heart Institute. The device pumps blood around the body without a heartbeat using two centrifugal pumps, a breakthrough that had never been accomplished before. Craig underwent the risky procedure and came out alive and well. Talk about a medical miracle. Kyle Maynard if you ever need a little motivation, think of Kyle Maynard, the American speaker, author, and mixed martial arts fighter who climbed Mount Kilimanjaro without using prosthetics. That's right, he's a quadriplegic, and he still made it to the top. Kyle was born with congenital amputation, which means his arms end at the elbows and his legs end at the knees. But that didn't stop him from learning to eat and do everything himself. His dad was tough on him, but it ultimately paid off. Andrew Wardle Andrew Wardle is a British man born without a penis due to a rare birth defect. Yeah, you heard that right. If you think he must have a really sad life, think again. Andrew didn't let that stop him from living his best life. In fact, Andrew became a DJ and lived a pretty everyday life until his 20s, when he decided to undergo a groundbreaking surgery to get a fully functioning penis. The procedure took three surgeries and a few years to complete. But in the end, Andrew finally got what he's always been missing in life. And he's even married now. Tiffany Geigel Oh, let me tell you about Tiffany Geigel, the girl with a missing neck. You might think, a missing neck? How is that even possible? Well, Tiffany was born with a rare condition called Klippel-Fell syndrome, which means she has a shortened neck and limited mobility. But that hasn't stopped her from achieving great things. Tiffany is a motivational speaker and an advocate for people with disabilities. She even competed in the Miss USA pageant. And while she didn't win the crown, she won over the hearts of the audience with her infectious smile and positive attitude. Talk about an inspiration. Janelle Martinez Okay, hear me out. Janelle Martinez Amador is a total badass. 
she was born with a rare genetic condition called osteogenesis imperfecta, which makes her bones incredibly fragile, like Samuel L. Jackson from Unbreakable. She's broken over 100 bones in her lifetime, but that hasn't stopped her from living life to the fullest. She's a dancer, model, and disability advocate who doesn't let her condition hold her back. In fact, she sees it as part of who she is and uses it to inspire others. She's even been featured in a music video by the band DNCE. Janelli is proof that you can do anything you set your mind to, even if you have missing bones. Tina Earls Can you imagine living without your nose? Well, Tina Earls did it with bravery and determination. Tina discovered a sore on her nose that wouldn't go away, and after many tests and surgeries, she was diagnosed with cancer. But that didn't stop her from fighting it with all she had. Tina underwent several surgeries to remove the cancerous cells. Still, when the doctors recommended radiation therapy, she chose to have her nose entirely removed to reduce the risk of cancer returning. Despite the changes in her appearance, Tina chose to prioritize her health and well-being. Hats off to her courage and determination. Eric Ramirez Meet Eric Ramirez Merrick, aka Calicus Gold, the Colombian body modification enthusiast who made headlines for his extreme look. After losing his mother at a young age, Calica started modifying his body to look like a living human skull. He got tattoos all over his face and body, including his mother's face on his back, and even had the tips of his nose and his ear cut off by a tattoo artist friend. And get this, he plans on having his genitals removed to complete his rotting skeleton look. Talk about dedication! He even cut his tongue in half and dyed it gray. Who says you can't make a statement with body art? Oscar Pistorius Ah, Oscar Pistorius, the sprinter from South Africa with blades for feet. He inspires us all, especially those missing a limb or two. Oscar was born with a birth defect that caused his feet to be cut off when he was only 11 months old. But that didn't stop him from running in sprint races for both able-bodied and para-athletes. Unfortunately, he got into trouble when he shot and killed his girlfriend, Reva Steenkamp, in his home. Yikes! He went to prison for five years for culpable homicide. Archie Innes Let me tell you about Archie Innes, a young lad from Scotland who doesn't have any eyes. You heard that right, no eyeballs. But don't feel sorry for him just yet, because Archie doesn't let his lack of vision hold him back. In fact, he's a pretty awesome kid who loves to ride his bike, play the drums, and even rock climb. You might wonder how Archie manages to do all these things without any eyes. Well, he has some pretty impressive skills, like echolocation which means he can use sound waves to see his surroundings. Amazing, right? Kaylee Motes Next up, we have Kaylee Motes, a young woman from Arizona who was born without a vagina due to a rare condition called Mayer rokintinsky kusterhauser syndrome. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Despite facing numerous challenges, Kaylee has a positive outlook and a great sense of humor. She once joked that she was born a Barbie because of her condition. Kaylee underwent a successful surgery in 2017 to create a vaginal opening using tissue from her buttocks. She bravely shared her story on social media to raise awareness about her condition and inspire others who might be going through something similar. Terry Fox Meet Terry Fox, who loves sports until he got osteogenic sarcoma, a rare bone cancer at 18. To stop the cancer from spreading, doctors had to chop off his right leg above the knee and give him chemo. But Terry wasn't one to sit around on his butt and was back on his feet in just three weeks. However, seeing so many sick and dying people in the hospital made him sad and he realized that not enough money is being spent on cancer research. So he decided to run across Canada from east to west to raise money. Bethany Hamilton Lastly, Bethany Hamilton is a surfer famous for losing her arm to a 14-foot tiger shark when she was only 13. But instead of giving up on her dreams, she returned to surfing just a month after the attack. Talk about tenacity! Within two years, she won her first national surfing title, proving nothing could stop her from achieving her goals. Bethany's faith has been her backbone throughout her journey, and she's used her platform to inspire and help others. Plus, she's now a wife and mother who continues to compete in surfing events. Go, Bethany! The Memory Man Meet Henry Gustav Malaysen, a young man from Hartford, Connecticut, who lost his memory in 1953 after a dangerous psychosurgical operation meant to cure his epilepsy, and that surgery went wrong. 
As a result, Henry couldn't store or recall any new experiences, living in the present moment until he died in 2008. Henry's tragedy led to a breakthrough in neuroscience, helping scientists understand how memory works. His amnesia allowed researchers to study the brain and discover the memory could be localized in one spot. Postgraduate student Suzanne Corkin spent 46 years studying Henry and has written a book called Permanent Present Tense about their unique bond. What dedication! What part of your body can you not live without? Let me know in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more fantastic content. Until next time, adios.